Okay, we're going to do another tutorial, and this one is actually going to be gridding a cross stitch chart pattern in Paint, which is a Windows um, program. Uh, it's a free program, it's on all Windows computers. All right, I've opened up Paint and I've pulled my image in. Uh, to get this image, I just took a screenshot and then cut it down. Um, but once you get your image in, you need to make sure that this image is in pixels. In order to do that, we go to File and we click Properties. Make sure that the units is pixels. And if that's selected, just say OK. Next, we actually need to resize the image based on our pattern. OK, to do that, you're going to click this resize button. Again, make sure that pixels is selected, not percentage. And then double check and make sure that this maintained aspect ratio is clicked off. We do not want that on. OK, then we're going to switch over. No, I don't want that. Um, we're going to switch over to the pattern. As you can see, this pattern is 195 stitches wide by 341 stitches high. We need to resize that image to match this pattern. So we go over here and we go 195 in the wide. And it was 341 high. And then you say OK. And that has actually resized your image. Okay. Now your ruler is going to be in pixels. We need to get really close to this in order to see. So I am going to go to view and I'm going to zoom in until one main line that it shows you a number one to another main line is 10 units. And that's so that each one of these little tick marks is a single line means one unit okay now we need to make sure we're at the top which we are all right we need to go back to the pattern and we scroll down to the first page of the pattern all right we see that that first page is 80 stitches wide we go back to paint And we go to home and we make sure that we have clicked this pencil button you can change the size of your line I'm gonna leave it where it's at and you can change the color of that line in this case I'm leaving it white we go find the 80 mark which is right there and then we press your left button on your mouse and hold down your shift key and drag down Okay, that's going to force that line to actually be straight. All right. Now we go to the second page, which ends at 151, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 157. Okay, now we're going to go over to the 157 mark. 9, 8, 7. Press with your left mouse button hold the shift key and pull down oh that one didn't play nice okay so now we've gotten the columns set up we are going to do the rows to do that we see that our first row ends at 91 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 98 we're going to go over here on the left and we're going to find the 98 mark. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to left click our mouse, shift, and drag. It's going to force that line to be straight. I'll go ahead and take that all the way across. All right, and we need to go back to our pattern. We need to go to the second row. And it is 193. So we find 193 on the left hand side. We left click and we drag it across. All right, and my last row 281, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 288. I find the 288 mark. Left click your mouse, shift, and drag, and that's going to make a line. 
a straight line all the way across. Now for these ones that I didn't actually do all the way, all you have to do is line it up, um, left click, shift, and continue to drag. Well, if it wants to play nice. Whoops. And drag it down. We can extend those lines easily when you actually go the right direction. <laughs> Dag nabbit. I am just obviously if you've seen my Photoshop tutorial, I am way more adept at Photoshop than I am paint. <laughs> there we go. Now watch I'm gonna have that problem. We're gonna do this. We're gonna zoom out and see if I can't make those longer. So I don't have to do that as often. Oops. All right, and then we're going to continue to, whoops. all the way to the bottom. Just extend those lines. <laughs> if you can go the right direction. No, I don't want to go left. I want to go down. Alright, evidently there's somebody out there that knows paint better than me. Because I struggle with it but there you go all right we're gonna zoom back out and you have a gridded chart done